There you have your beauty tip of the day to make sure you get that glowing skin. Next up though, we head on down to Wellington to blow Blomikis Kluwer Farm, which is one of the very few proper biodynamic farms in South Africa. So we learn a little bit more about this healthy and also sustainable way of farming. And then afterwards, we're gonna cook with some of the fresh produce. So stay with us, but let's head on down to Wellington and find out what biodynamic farming is all about. Blo Blomikis Kloof is a biodynamic farm in Wellington. It was first converted to organic and biodynamic farming in the 1960s and the products and produce quickly gained a loyal following in markets in Cape Town. But what exactly is biodynamic farming? It's a method of farming where we take into account that there is a cosmic world, a world of planets, stars, the moon, the sun, which influences us and we influence them. Blo Blomikis Kloof is a mixed farm with a small dairy herd and orchid, planted grains like wheat and oats, as well as herbs and vegetables, an intentional requirement for biodynamic farming. The purpose of a biodynamic farm is to produce food, essentially. The idea is that the food should be completely nourishing not just nourishing our bodies, but nourishing our souls as well. A conventionally produced food would, could possibly have all the vitamins and minerals and carbohydrates that science can test for, but from the point of view of, of a biodynamic farming, it doesn't have those life forces that are needed in order to nourish our bodies totally. We feel on a biodynamic farm that um, the reason why there are so many allergies and so many food intolerances, our bodies are not being completely nourished, that there's something lacking and our bodies are saying, hey, I need something, I need something more. And that a biodynamically produced food will actually provide what is needed. A very important criterion of, of a biodynamic farm is that one tries to be a self-sustained unit one creates a kind of a living organism. So a biodynamic farm is always by default a mixed farm because you're producing everything you need. For example, you have to have cows on a biodynamic farm because you need the, the cow manure in order to make the compost. The cows need to be fed. You can't go and buy feed for the cows. You produce your own feed. So you're growing wheat, you're growing grain for the cows. And so it becomes a, a, a closed, ecological system that sustains itself. An interesting fact about this farm is that it was converted to a biodynamic farm by a woman and is still run by a woman today. A rare coincidence in this male-dominated agriculture industry. I've been working on Blo Blomikis now for almost 14 years. It's, it's quite exhausting, physically very exhausting. It's, it's challenging, lots of difficulties always, but incredibly rewarding, incredibly healing because you are, you are you, although you're working with your body, you're also working with your soul and with your head. Your intellect is constantly challenged. You're having to learn, you're having to understand things. And as a, even in the same way that the soil is being healed, in a way, you are also being healed. A self-sustaining environment creating produce which enables one to reconnect with the divine in a conscious way. That is the inspiration behind Blo Blomikis Kloof Farm.